What's up? I'm Matthew. I'm the co-founder of WhaleSync, the easiest way to sync data between Airtable and Webflow. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to sync data from Airtable to Webflow in just a few minutes. We're going to do all of this without Zapier, without Integromat, without any management of a 15-step automation workflow. It's super simple. It's instant. And we're going to do it right now. All right. So the first thing I want to do is just show you what the end result is, what you need to have set up in order to make the sync work. To start, we need an Airtable base with some data that we're going to sync over to Webflow. And so if you take a look here for this example, I've got a blog posts Airtable base. It is full of records of blog posts. And that includes their name, date, their posted images, rich text. And we also have a table with their authors as well as categories for these blog posts. Next, we need a Webflow project. That site needs to have collections that match up with the data that we have in Airtable. So it zoomed up here. We've got an authors collection, blog post collection, and categories collection. And if we look at the settings for each of these collections, they're going to have the same fields that we have in Airtable. So let's take blog posts, for example. Uh, just like we saw in Airtable, we have a post name field date posted, image rich text, and so on. Finally, just to take a look over at WhaleSync, this is what the end state would look like. You'll have a base called my blog or whatever the name of your Airtable base is with syncing turned on. When this is on, the data will sync from Airtable to Webflow instantly. And so finally, to take a look at what that looks like, let's come back over to Webflow and refresh our page. And there you go. We've got blog posts populating our Webflow site. They're all coming through this collection and you'll see it here, name, image, rich text, and so on. So with that out of the way, hopefully you have an Airtable base and Webflow site already set up that you want to sync. The first thing we need to do is come over to the whale sync dashboard. You're going to see a big button that says create new base. That is how we get started. So let's click there. That will bring us to the setup flow. The setup flow is how we configure our sync. We can connect to Airtable, connect to Webflow, map that data, and then be ready to turn syncing on. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is connect to Airtable. In order to connect to Airtable, we need to grab the Airtable API key as well as the base sharing link. If that sounds confusing, don't worry. It's actually really simple. We have links here that show you step-by-step -step how to get those keys. But for this tutorial, I'll show you really quickly. To grab our Airtable API key, all we need to do is come back to Airtable, look for this account button in the top right, hit account again, and we are now on the account overview page. This page will give us our API key down here. All we need to do is copy and paste it into WhaleSync up top here. And now for the base sharing link, which is also super simple. All we need to do is come back over to our Airtable base, look for the big share button in the top right. You'll see a button called base and then create a shared link to the whole base. Finally, private read only link. And that's our link. So let's grab that as well and copy and paste that into Wilson. Now we hit continue. Same idea for Webflow. Let's grab that API key. All we gotta do is come back to Webflow Look for the settings button in the top left, project settings. And from the project settings page, we'll see a tab called integrations. If you click there and scroll to the bottom, Webflow makes it really easy to generate an API key. You just click that big button, copy it, and bring it back over into WebSync. And we can hit continue. What this is going to do is pull up the data tables that are in each, or in Webflow, they call it a collection. And so you'll notice Airtable tables on the left, Webflow collections on the right. And all we really need to do is map those tables to each other. So like I mentioned, we have an author's table in Airtable and an author's collection in Webflow. Let's just line those up. Same idea for blog posts and categories and hit continue. This will bring you to the map fields page. This page is super similar to the last one. The idea is we are mapping individual fields between Airtable and Webflow. So just to take a quick look back at our Airtable base, as I mentioned, we've got uh, post name, slug, date posted, image. These are individual fields in this Airtable base. If we come back over to WhaleSync and go to the blog posts table, 
we should see those exact same fields here. Email, image, date posted, uh, all the ones that we have in that base. Now, you're going to notice one other thing here, which is that all of these fields are actually already pre-mapped. And the reason that's happening is a feature we call auto mapping. What's happening is if the field names match exactly between Airtable and Webflow, WebSync is smart enough to know that you probably want to map them. And it's just doing that mapping for you. So authors and authors, category, category, all of these fields are mapped. We don't have to do this one by one. It saves a ton of time, but just to call it out, you don't actually have to do this. It's optional. If you'd rather map these fields one by one, you can do it here in the dropdown, just like this. And you're also welcome to unmap fields that were auto mapped for you. Totally fine. One more call out while we're on the map fields page, we support uh, all of the major Airtable fields for a full list. You can check out our docs, but the key thing is that the Airtable fields do need to match across Airtable and Webflow. So for example, if you're mapping a rich text field in Airtable, that needs to be mapped to a rich text field in Webflow. WhaleSync will only let you map fields that are compatible, so you can't get in trouble by mapping things that won't work. All right, that is it for mapping. Let's go ahead and complete setup. And this will bring us back to the WhaleSync dashboard. From here, we can turn syncing on, which is awesome. <laughs> as soon as we hit this button, let's go ahead and do it now. Syncing will start. And so instantly, your data that's in Airtable will start to flow over to Webflow. And from here on out, anytime you create a new record in Airtable, update a record or delete a record, that will sync over immediately into your Webflow site. So let's come back over to Webflow. Let's go to the designer. And there we go. We have blog posts showing up in our Webflow site immediately, instantly synced by WhaleSync. And if we come over to our collections, we can see them start to populate here. Every time we refresh the page, we'll see more blog posts. So right now we've got 27. Let's go ahead and refresh. And now we've got 36 plus authors and categories. So a couple things I want to call out while we're looking at the sync. First of all, we handle multi-reference fields in Webflow and linked records in Airtable out of the box. You don't need to do anything special. You can just map them like any other field. So if we come over to blog posts, just to take a look at an example and click on one, and we look at this author's field. This is a linked record in Airtable and a reference field in Webflow. We didn't do anything special here. We didn't add an extra field. We didn't have to you know, map things back and forth. All we did was map the author's field like every other field in WhaleSync and WhaleSync handled the rest. Same idea for rich text, right? Heading, heading, quotes, doesn't matter, whatever rich text you have in Airtable, that's going to sync over to Webflow. We do the conversion. We take care of the tricky parts there. If we come back over to WhaleSync, one more important thing I want to go over, which is the issues page. So from the left-hand panel, we can click issues. What this page will show is if there are any errors that Airtable or Webflow throw during the course of the sync, it will show up here. And so if there is an issue with uh, anything to do with your sync, if we're unable to sync any records, we'll tell you right here. One last cool thing about whale sync is that we update records instantly and one at a time. So if you make a new record, as soon as you make that new record in your table, it will sync over to Webflow and it won't update all of your records. It will just update the one that you created there. And so just to give an example, if we come over to our table and we create one more blog post, what do we call this? My blog post is great. And we give it some slug. And when we give it a cool whale image, just to stay in theme. And once that's uploaded to Airtable, that record is syncing to Webflow instantly. And so if we come back over to our Webflow site and refresh the page, there we go. My blog post is great. We've got our new whale record showing up immediately. And that's it. That is how you sync data between Airtable and Webflow using WhaleSync. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the comments below or email me at matthew at See you soon.